All right, so it's DJ Double in the building. Right now, I'm joined by a guy. He's really the most. Come on. Right, he's the underground king right now. Young Spray. UK rap. Yeah, that's Mr. it. Mr. RTM. Spray. What's going on, brother? I'm nice. How are you? Sweet, brother. Just come off the plane this morning. Yeah. So my voice is just about coming back. <laughs> the air conditioning been mashing up your throat, right? Crazy, bro. Crazy. <laughs> but this one sounds sexy, though. All oh, right, I don't, I don't bother with that kind of stuff. That's for the ladies, man. Yeah, That's for on. the girls. That's for come the girls. On. So, what makes you realer the most? Tell me. Do you know what? Yeah, what makes me realer the most is that I keep it realer the most. Like, I just like, it's just, to me that slogan just means what it means to you individually. Mm -hmm. do you see what I'm saying? Because it's like I just do me in it. Like some people kind of don't do them. They do what they think they should be doing, but really just. Be you in it. Yeah. Even a man going and doing like waking up nine o'clock to go and like save people from houses, burning houses, a fireman, doctor. They're keeping it real in the most as well. Mm -hmm. Cause they're doing them in it. Just doing what they want to do. They're just doing them. Just be you, man. I hear that, man. So you tweeted, right? Let me let me let me read this. Everybody's a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life thinking it's stupid. Yeah. Do you tweet stuff like this a lot? Yeah, I do. It, it took me a minute to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to read it a couple of times. Hang on. I don't, what? So explain this tweet to me. How do you, Why were you tweeting it? Do you know what it is? Like, I'm a philosopher as well, isn't it? Like, to me, that just means, yeah, like everyone's got, everyone's got their own special, special talent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's like, if you, if you like, when I'm saying, if you, if you spend your whole life um, judging a, a fish by whether it can climb a tree or not. It can't climb a tree, innit? No way, it's not possible. If it was possible to climb a tree, then maybe it can climb a tree, innit? Mm -hmm. So why don't you judge it by how fast it can swim or... I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that makes so sense. Everyone's got their own talent, innit? So I get you've got to find it. So you was born in Dominica? Yeah, Dominica, yeah. Dominica, yeah. apologies. Do you speak Creole? Is no, that I how I pronounce I it? I don't, it's called Patois, yeah? But my mum, my mum speaks it. Stuff. It's like French patois, huh? Yeah, like broken patois, yeah. So you don't speak it like? <laughs> no, not really. Bashi, you got to go to Bashi for that. Right, right, right. I got you, I got you. Um, when you came over to the UK, how old were you? Six? Six, yeah. Did you, was there much adjusting to UK lifestyle? Yeah, there was. There was, but because I was young, it was kind of easy, innit? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Easily adapted. Easily adapted. Yeah, I was saying in it within about a month. <laughs> within about a month, you get me? I came here. I was talking when I came here, weren't nice, bro. Yeah, you so in Dom Dominica, their first language is English anyway. Yeah, English, right? but in a crazy way. So mm. the people in my primary school days, I had to snap out of that. I had to get into in it mode. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, what happened to North Star? So obviously moving straight into like the music side of things. Yeah. Your early career was as a part of North Star. Yeah. So what happened to them as a collective? Well, basically, we just we just grew up in it. Um, C started doing films. China, the singer got pregnant. So obviously, you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. like, she just ended up. And it's like, we, we just felt we came to we came to like a brick wall. Yeah. Because like, to us, we was making good music, commercial music as well. And it's like, we weren't getting the recognition that we thought we deserved for how much we were spending on our all our like um videos or whatever we was doing. Right. We was doing big projects. Yeah, it had a movement, man. Yeah, Lost, yeah, Lost yeah. I had momentum behind yeah, no, it. Who's so who was doing well. Who was doing well. And you was um managed by Lisa Mafia. Yeah. So what happened with that? I mean, are you are you still talking with Lisa? Or of is course, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. We all still fam. It's we all still, still love. Fam. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear it, man. I'm glad, I'm glad. Um as North Star, I read that you did live shows in obviously Napa, Magaluf. Yeah. One that caught my attention, it said you did a live show in Kazakhstan. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. What the hell is Kazakhstan like <laughs> to do a live show? <laughs> I don't even know what we was doing there. I think it was um, something to do with the Fashion Awards. Right. Fashion Awards or something, but it was crazy. Fashion Awards in Kazakhstan? Yeah, in Kazakhstan, wow. some Fashion Awards thing. But yeah, we performed it. We basically, we opened for Lisa, innit? Okay. We opened for Lisa over there, but yeah, that was that was crazy. Interesting. That. What was the crowd like? So was it uh, was it a local crowd or...? No, it was a big crowd. It was a big crowd. It was a big crowd still. And the best thing about Kazakhstan was the house music. Right. Because we went and partied later on that night. Mm. And uh, pfft, we never looked back since. Like, it's, all, it's always been... Yeah. Like that sort of house music for us after that, like wow. funky ass, yeah. Who would have known, man? I Crazy. wouldn't even know. Kazakhstan's got a scene, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm it's going there. Get all the Kazakhstanians, DJ Double, get them on your booking. Bro, it's got a scene, bro. <laughs> um, so why did you decide then to move forwards as a solo artist? Um, basically, um, I had nothing else that I thought I was good at. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I just, 
Music's in me, innit? Mm. I can't help doing it. If I thought, if I, do you know what? If I, if I thought to myself I was rubbish, then I wouldn't do it. That's the honest to God truth. Yeah. yeah. Some people, I don't know why they don't listen back to their takes and just think, oh, you know what? Let me go and do something else. If I thought I was rubbish, I wouldn't do it. And the fans kind of keep me going because really, I should have lost interest by now. But yeah, well, the music speaks for itself, man. Like obviously, I said off off mic, I'm a big fan anyway. Thank you. Man. So you impacted as a solo artist with Real of the Most Volume One. Yeah. How was that received? Well, I know how it was received, yeah. but for you. <laughs> What I mean is, how, were you happy with the reception of that? I was over the moon. Mm -hmm. I was over the moon because it's like, I felt that people accepted it. Yeah. Fully. Majorly. Because it's like, yeah, because it's like, with that, because it's my solo project, it's me now, isn't it? It's me putting me forward. So it's like, you know how it is, like, you've got haters, you've got love, you got, so it's like, I was a bit nervous, innit? Yeah, yeah. To see how everyone's going to react to it. But everyone, everyone, the whole streets embraced it, so... Industry as well, man. The artists were talking about it too. I yeah, seen a few yeah, artists talking. It started, so. it started. It started this thing once. So. It was nice introducing Young Spray to the world. I yeah, liked man. it. So, um, you're working on an album now, right? Yeah. Invisible Tears. Invisible Tears. Why? Why that album title? What does it mean? Um, I just wanted to be deeper than other people. To be honest, just my other, you know, my philosophy, mm -hmm. my philosophy side. Yeah, it's just like I don't cry in it, but I should. You get me? So I just called it Invisible Tears. Right. It's like. I get you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say no more. Say no more. Mm. Um, signed to EGA. Yeah. EGA, I should yeah. say. How long have you been signed to them? Um, do you know what? Less than a year, but it feels like ten. Because it's in like, a good way, though. Yeah, we've been full steam ahead. <laughs> yeah. We've been full steam ahead from working. the gate, from the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Non-stop working, man. How it should be, man. A lot of artists think that. As an unsigned artist, they put the work in. Mm. As soon as you get signed, yeah. you can sit back and just, yeah. just take the money. But no, 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 not at all. No, no, no. You definitely got to put the work in. You've got a lot of collabs on the album. Yeah. So uh, I've read, obviously, I know you've done stuff with Gigs, uh, Skepta yeah. on Amen that we'll talk about in a moment. Fecky, Chip, mm. Wretch, DVS. Basically the biggest names in the streets right now, everyone yeah. that's ringing out. Is there anyone else that you um, are looking to work with in the, in the near future? Um everyone really like I, I i don't really i ain't got no qualms with working with anyone as long as they're good credible artists mm -hmm. um i'm all i'm all for it to be honest is is there anyone did you reach out to anyone that didn't respond anyone part it of course not no Cause i wouldn't to be honest i wouldn't reach out to someone if i felt that i would get part because mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's all everyone i've reached out to it's all love between yeah. both of us if you know what i'm saying it's never it's always love every time we link up so Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that's good, mean? man. That's nice. It's nice. I didn't like. I didn't go through anyone to get the. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I got. I phoned them. It's all direct. Yeah, it's direct connection. It's all love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, so amen. Yeah. That's the tune. That's that's my song right now, man. That's, amen. That's, yeah, I just been hammering it out. Yeah, featuring no, respect, Skepta. Man. Respect. Man. So who reached out to who for the collaboration? Was it you um, ch chatting to him, or did he say you know yeah, we no, need I, to do something? I reached out to him. Hmm. Obviously, like from time for 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 like years. Like we've been saying, we need to do something. But obviously, people like Skepta, Rich, all these people, even Chip, all these people, I didn't just want to just do anything with them and like just fling them on really the more. Obviously, I've been putting the mixtapes out, but that was like street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's just for the street. So I didn't just want to like put them on anything. I wanted to make sure we got something that we can do something with. Yeah, of course. For instance, go to radio or whatever. So obviously, I heard the beat and I thought that beat was mad. But then, like, you know, Skepta, that sort of tempo, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, rah, Skepta could go mad on this, you know? <laughs> so, like, I phoned him, said, where are said, send the beat. When I sent the beat, straight away, straight away he felt it. So, that's how that come about. That's sick. And when we got to the studio, that was it. It's so a myth, rap. Yeah, it's a rap. He, he said, celebrating with the realest in the club. And then... Everything went crazy after that. Yeah. yeah. And it does, man. The tune goes hard as well. I've dropped it in the club a couple of times and you know the, the the ones that are in the know. I feel mm. like the tune hasn't properly impacted just yet. Mm. But the people that know, yeah, yeah, no. they know, man. And yeah, no, they go ham man. for it. Definitely, so. man. After we put out the video, hopefully it'll get more exposure. And, Most definitely. You know what I mean? Most definitely, man. Yeah. What's your plan with the whole album then? Is it all going to be tunes like this? Like, this is what I call... The best way to describe it is like a street anthem. Mm. So is the whole album going to be like this or you know are you going to switch it up? It's kind of, it's, it's definitely switched up. It's, if, you, if you look at Real of the Most, if you look at all the CDs I've put out, it's never been just one sort of emotion. 
Like, you got the hard tunes, you got the emotional tunes, because mm -hmm. I can't have an album without pain on it. Not Especially cool. if it's called Invisible yeah, Tears, yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, being silly. That. Yeah, that would be being yeah. silly. <laughs> you get me? But yeah, so there's pain on there. You got a um, couple tracks for the girls. I got one track with Divas, it's crazy mm. for the girls. Um, it's just all different stuff. Obviously, you definitely got the hard stuff, because that's me, innit? Yeah, of but, course. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing the DVS record, man, because I haven't bro. I haven't heard it yet. That's crazy. one of those that I haven't heard yet, so I'm yeah. definitely looking Milena forward to it. Milena Sanchez on the um, hook. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. So, a lot of artists kind of that have been in your lane in the past, you know, people like Skepta, Chip, Wretch, I feel like to get the mainstream audience and to really get like into that charting position, they've kind of compromised on what they originally would like to do mm. and you know they've watered it down a little bit no I wouldn't say sold out because I think that's a bit harsh but yeah. I'd say commercialise the sound to, mm. to reach out to a wider audience is that something you would do or would you just stick with pure street stuff and who likes it likes it bro to be honest bro yeah like um, I don't judge I don't judge them for doing what they what they've done because it's like it's England and it's not it's ain't New York it's not mm. LA it's not Miami like it's England Queen Elizabeth, David Cameron. It's not like that. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. you have to kind of cater for, you have to cater for your audience, isn't it? So popular music over here is what they is what they do, in it? You want to make money, what do you want to do? Exactly. Do you want to make money Pay or do bills. you want to get famous? So you got a choice, in it? With me, I don't look at it as, um, I wouldn't look at it as me watering myself down because no matter, the beat's the beat. But everything I will say on the beat is still me. It's always going to be me. Yeah. It's like, if you look at North Star, we came in commercial. So no matter what I do, you can't say like, oh, yeah, he's watering his off down. Because mm -hmm. it's like, I've been watered down then already, if that's what you want to mean. Because, you know, we've come too far to turn around and all of this, yeah. Like, that weren't gangster rap, was it? It was like, we was trying to, like, influence the streets to yeah, change. Yeah, 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 yeah you know I get I mean? that, man. It's so like so, a softer sound, but yeah, still, yeah, yeah. still authentic and still out there. Yeah. So what you're saying is really like, no matter what the beat is, no matter what it sounds like or how commercial the beat is, the lyrics are still yeah, young yeah. spray. Yeah, They're yeah, still it's, it's just what be you weird, want. Yeah. yeah, man, that's that's nice. That's nice. So how far through the album are you? Do you know what? We're, 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 it's wrapped up, to be honest. We're just like um, mixing, mixing down and finalising a couple bits and pieces. Like... <sighs> Yeah. I've got about 30 tracks to pick out of. And, you know, like that. <laughs> and that's the hardest yeah, part, yeah, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to throw a whole heap of questions at you. Uh, at random, and mm. I'm warning you, these are random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to be surprised. You might mm. not be surprised. Right, They're cool. random. So, Young Spray, are you ready for the fun bit? Uh, kind of. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's ready. He's ready. He's random right. questions. Describe your perfect sandwich. My perfect sandwich, Plowman's. A ploughman's yeah, for the people on. that I'm. I'm from the countryside. Ploughman's, bro. I grew up in the countryside. I know all um, about ploughman's, but for the people that don't know, tell them a ploughman's. Cheese and that. I don't even know what's in there. I just know. <laughs> I just know when they. I just Cheese know on the sweat box. That. On the sweat box, when they push it under the door, it says ploughman's. Yeah, that's it. No, right there, you go. You get. Mm. He's a ploughman. He doesn't even know what's in it. Mm. Favorite TV show. Favorite TV show. Oh, there's so many. Let me think quickly. What's my favorite TV show? Ah, oh, crime, crime, you know them, the crime channel? Yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. What, you. the real life crime yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all that stuff still. <laughs> yeah. I know you're sitting there like, oh, yeah. I know him, I know him. <laughs> no, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, you know snap women who kill and all that. Yeah, I, I know, know. Watch out for the, oh, I'm going, man. <laughs> uh, ultimate collaboration. So what I mean is, dead or alive, mm. any artist ever, who would you like to do a track with? Dead or alive, come yeah. on, then you're going to have to, it's obviously going to be Biggie, Pac and Biggie. all these guys. Biggie, yeah. Think. Got to be the greats, in it? Most big definitely. pun. Mm -hmm. Big pun. All right, so if you had to choose between Biggie or Pac. Pac. Yeah? Look how quick I said it as well. Right. You <laughs> thought about this before, is it? Like I said it quickly without even thinking. Yeah. But I love Biggie as well. I love Biggie because Biggie's melody, but Pac is just raw and just yeah. crazy. And just... I hear that, man, definitely. <laughs> Would you rather be haunted by ghosts mm. or abducted by aliens? Uh already haunted by uh, abducted by aliens you say you're already haunted <laughs> by ghosts <laughs> okay so you what you'd rather be abducted by yeah. aliens so being haunted ain't yeah. nice though, no? uh, I'd rather be a, I'd rather be abducted by aliens right 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 what's the best thing about where you're from the best thing about where I'm from is the fish and chips nice a proper English answer that right there pretty sweet the Listen, fish and chips I've just come from up here yeah I wouldn't I, I wouldn't take off my England app 
<laughs> I would have just kept it on. Yeah, I just kept on my ankle in it. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Um, God. Sensible answer, I guess. A God-fearing man. Yeah. Would you rather go back in time and change something you've done mm. or forward in time and see your future? Uh, forward. See what's coming. Yeah. If you could swap lives with anyone for a week, who would it be? Uh, hmm. Me? You just remain the same? Just remain the same, bro. Fair enough. See, that's, that's the answer of someone who's happy with life. I like I'm happy with being here, bro. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. It's good to hear. Do you stay up late or get up early? I stay up late and get up early. <laughs> yeah, everyone's everyone I meet in music, that's their answer. Yeah, it's everyone's mad. a real grinder out here. <laughs> Nobody gets sleep. What's the most important thing in life? The most important thing in life is your kids. The kids. Your lovely kids. Yeah. What else is happening for you this year? Um, well, we've got Invisible Tears. Hopefully that could be out in a couple months. Did you have an actual release date for that that you're working towards? Um, we did, but that because of the Amen. You know what it is? Kind of, as we're going along, every track is like, wow. So it's like we're having to kind of pace ourselves properly because we mm. don't want to just, you know what I mean? We don't want to just throw out something. You can't. That like rush greatness or nothing like that. Of course, that. of course. It's DJ Double in here. I'm here with Young Sprays, really the RTM. most. If you don't know, make sure you get to know. Get to know. Trust man. me on this. Trust me. Trust yeah. me. Trust me. Big up the listeners, man. DJ Double signing out. Young Spray. Big sure. Up. Sure.